shouldn't have had the comments on the side screen really all this video is is uh advertising our server my server over on the ps4 for arc survival of old it's a at the minute it's pay we it's going to stay a pve server it's only been up two or three days it was oh, came uh, it was dropped live on the 15th of this month 15th of november it's eight o'clock at night um, it's PVE on Ragnarok as you can see but there is a few additions what I've put into it there's um of course you can call out other uh, tribes for wars and all that so you still get the uh, PVP side of things that way we do do we will be doing server events but once the uh, server becomes a little bit more populated at the minute I think we've only got about six members on it and it's a 50 member uh, server um rules wise to set let's get this up Right, it's 10 times gather and tame, 20 times breeding and maturity, 5 times egg hatch speed. The drops in the fishing is boosted as well, so you get, um, what do you call it, all your blue gear, that sort of stuff. Ascendant, that's it, alright, so you get your ascendant gear out of the good drops. Normal white, green drops, blue drops will still give you a mix of stuff, but when you do stuff like the, the ice cave or the ice worm cave, you will get higher in gear. The red drops in the sea, you will get higher in gear and all that. Um, other stuff what's added to that of halved water, food, and stamina drain. So you don't get hungry, tired, or thirsty as quick. There's been a slight increase to egg layer, like not uh, incubated egg, just normal eggs. This is so you can get your kibble up um, for when you're taming or when you're rearing up uh, babies. Flyers are allowed in caves, flyers can carry players, crosshairs are allowed, so when you've got your guns out you will see a crosshair on the screen. Uh, structure decay and dino decay is turned on as well, so if a uh, player has been inactive for 7 days, someone will be able to go over and destroy their base, take whatever's in it, it's up to whoever finds it, it's up, up to them what to do with it, they can dump it or they can take it. Same as any dinos what's in that base as well, they have uh, permission to claim it. Um, supply drops what drop down on someone's base it won't sink through the ceiling I've got it set so they stay on the roof so if you see a supply drop in someone's base you're still able to go over and collect it uh, you got floating damage on that's basically, basically there so you can see how much damage you're personally doing that's handy when you're attacking or when you're trying to tame a dino the max level dino on this map is 300 <coughs> <clears throat> so you, you you can get 300 rexes, 300 uh, dinosaurs, I. But that also increases uh, wyverns. I think the max there is three 390, I think it is, for wyverns or dragons, what you want to call them. Player weight has had an increase. Dino weight and health has had a slight increase. And all your containers, like your, your table, your fabricator, your for forges and all that, right, those are all lockable as well. Um. As I say, you've got the ability to call out other clans to start the battle or a war with them. All you do is go over them, hold triangle in, and uh, you can start a war with them. Once they have accepted it, it gives you an hour, I think it is, to battle each other. At the end of that battle, it goes straight back to PvE. It's automatic, it's nothing to do with the server, that, so I've, I don't control none of that. That's You get an hour's worth of game time. There's two ways of doing it. You can do it wherever you want whether it be at their base, your base, in the open, or later on down the line I will be building a big arena for that sort of thing. So like, the way Team Deathmatch carried out on like, say Call of Duty, where you'll have like, a, instead of just a square area, there will be a map built up in that area sort of thing. So it'll give you a chance to do a little bit of PvE with other tribes. There will be other server events uh, carried out throughout the period of the game sort of thing. Um, there's all sorts I will be putting into it, like, uh, catch the griffin sort of thing there'll be me flying around on the griffin if you can catch me not griffin sorry a quits i'll have a platform on us if you can get onto my platform i've got it so other people can land on platforms by the way <laughs> before anyone sees out all right so if i'm flying around on the quits with a platform on us you can land on that platform and claim it sort of thing you don't get you don't win the quits you'll win um whatever's in the box sort of thing and it could be absolutely anything it could be blueprints it could be weapons it could be clothing it could be resources it could just be a, a piece of paper with a list of dinosaurs what you've won it's that would be one of the items uh, one of the events another event will be like uh what's this 
will be <laughs> dino races. That was well enough. I know it's one team members. <laughs> what are you doing? This here, right below me, is um, the community area. There's about 15 hours of work gone into this at the minute. You can't get in there, it's all short. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. All these areas are shops, so you've got um, a weapons sales and repair shop there. You've got a chemist or alchemists. You've got uh, armor, clothing. You've got resources and building supplies there. This area here, big area in front of us, that's a pub. <laughs> pub and a restaurant type of thing. Just somewhere to chill out in, um, pass some time sort of thing, and we'll have a few laughs in there as well. That area over there at the minute, it's just got dinos in. You can see my sheet there. It's just got dinosaurs in at the minute. Um, I'm going to be using it as like a bit of a kibble farm or a breeding farm sort of thing. So that'll be later on down the line. Eventually, there'll be arenas set up around here for like, like, like a PvP I mentioned, um, and other events. <laughs> uh, server rules to set this page open. <coughs> there isn't much in the way of rules that we we um, we strict on sort of thing. You know what I mean? There's the main ones is no pillar or foundation place, and by that I mean no marking off an area with pillars or foundations there's no point to it, it's a massive map you can easily build up um, as you can see, all oh, that was built up in 15 hours sort of thing and that was just me solo on so you can build up a canny base, what's he doing like? <laughs> <laughs> Aye. Uh, no spawn area building, by that when you look at the map uh, there is some certain spawn areas on the map we don't allow building in those areas because it's pointless if um, someone spawns into a, the game and you end up being inside your base or your gated area where it's all closed off. So we don't allow building in spawn areas. You can easily find out where the spawn areas are on our Facebook page. I have got a, a little map on there which shows you all the spawn areas. But it's basically the coastline. Just don't go building on the coastline really. It, as long as you know it's not a spawn area, I don't mind you building there. You can build like a dock area for your boats or your dinosaurs and all that. I'm not bothered about all that at all, right? As long as it's not a spawn. Right, there's uh, no blocking off of any of the obelisks. Because there will be people who want to do the boss battles. So I don't allow any of those uh, obelisks to be blocked. And for the same reason, there's no building in caves that hold um, artifacts. Because I will need to get those artifacts to do the boss battles in the obelisks. If it's a normal cave but doesn't hold an uh, artifact, I don't mind that at all. That is perfectly fine as far as I can say anyway. Um, the server is open to absolutely anyone, age, race, sex, creed. So bear that in mind when using the in-game chat. Nay, like uh, racial slurs or... You know what I mean? I don't mind a little bit swearing down again because I date all the time. I'm I'm bad for swearing, to be honest. I'm really trying to stop myself swearing doing this video, to be honest. Um just bear that in mind when using the in-game chat um, everything well, I'm mentioning here will be included on our Facebook page and also on our PS4 community page they're all under the same name the server name the uh, Facebook page and the community page all as in the title of this video respawn-pve-uk um, clusters that's where you can transfer from one map to one map to one map. At the minute, I haven't got them because it's the price of them. You got to pay your price for this server. Then, if you want to do a cluster server, you what you got to pay a separate price for another server for the other map. Then another server. For you, you know what I mean? So the way we're going to try and work around it, I'm going to have a play around it this weekend because I know it's a little bit iffy. Is um, I'm going to try and spawn in bosses from other maps just to see if I can. If I can, then I will be build, build, building <laughs> a bigger arena somewhere on the map. What doesn't interfere with anyone's base whatsoever. It will have a roof and all that on it. And if you want to do the boss spawns to help you get to the tech tier, I can spawn them in for you. You can attack them as you would do normally. With the only addition, you would need sleeping bags for your respawn point. Um, and that will help you get tech tier from other maps, if you know what I mean. Because some tech tier items requiring doing battles, battles against bosses from other maps so hopefully I can get that work and get it sorted hopefully this weekend 
so that'll be coming as well um at the minute on the map we haven't got the desert area on ps4 most users will know that once they do add that big barren desert area if they don't add phoenixes into the game there is a way where i can do it myself so phoenixes will be coming to the server um I'm also thinking about increase, it will, increasing the the engrams you earn per leveling up. Like say you level up, you get 20 engrams and you can use them to buy certain items. I'm thinking of doubling it, and that way you'll be able to learn a lot more items, sort of thing. So you'll be able to learn all your basic items, and then learn where's that? All your tech tier items on top of it as well. As you can see, I have tested with uh, one of the boss spawns. That was the big spider thing. So. I know some dinos do, uh, some bosses do work, and I haven't tried the other ones yet. I'm going to be doing that all the weekend when I've got a little more time. Um, about myself, about this, uh, like server running in the past, we have as a group uh, ran servers on both PS4 and Arc. Uh, Arc, <laughs> of course, Arc. We have ran servers on both PS4 and Xbox One. Uh, we did do it at the time; it was uh, through console uh, servers. Where you buy a separate console, set a server up, and that was it, sort of thing. We used to have a lot of problems with that, in mainly regarding the uh, lag. But uh, now with this Nitrado server, it's running spot on. Like the, I think the highest ping I've had so far is about 30. At the minute, it's sat at 28, 32. So it's not too bad at all. Like, to be honest, the server is from the UK. It's based in London, and I'm in the northeast of England, and I'm getting really good uh, ping. Like, to be honest, so. Like. Um, everything seems spot on it we have we did have a little bit of trouble with um shape spawn and um, that was for for the mutton you know what i mean so we have rectified that now and as you can see by the way i've got a few sheep there building me resources up for a later date you c there is a lot a lot of shape we're not loads of shape i think they've spawned in about five or six in the group at a time over at the highlands and over towards the just past the swamp area over that way there somewhere I think it's that way. Aye, over the swamps. Like, there's another area over there where they do spawn in real life. Well, not in real life, in real game and in our server. Right, uh, level 300 dinosaurs. Um, we have got the taming increase on them, so it doesn't take long to tame. you still got to put a little bit of work in, but not too much. Um, if you want to tame, for example, a 300 Rex with kibble, you need 7 kibble, and it will take you 22 minutes. If you want to do it with mutton, it will take... Uh, 13 mutton, I think it is, for 26 minutes. Raw prime meat, 17 meat, over 34 minutes. So, you have still got that um, that time to wait for team, and it's not an instant team server. I hate instant team servers. As I mentioned earlier, when the gallery is uh, times 10, so bear that in mind when you jump in to the server and you pick a rock up and you're only getting like 8 to 10 stone. Bear that in mind that if you use weapons or ascendant weapons or dinosaurs, you will get a hell of a lot uh, more resources. So, don't join the server, pick up the stone and think, oh, this is shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? It won't take long to get their blueprints or drops at all. Um, we are a friendly server. I've, I, I'm paid with uh, some of my clanmates from a different game. They've got their own base. I am the only admin on this game. There is no other admins on the game at all. So, I didn't worry about that at all. The other lads have worked to get their base up and it's... There's, I think there's three of them in the building the canny base at the minute. There is one, two, I think three other bases I've seen so far in their building up canny as well. There's youngins out there taming and breeding and all that, so there's plenty going on on the server. Um, I think I've mentioned everything I need to do on the server. Everything I've mentioned as well regarding Facebook links or PS4 community. After this video has gone live, wait, well, this is the live. Uh, stream at the minute once it's up on youtube as a normal video in the description and in the comments i will post all of our uh, the links up sort of thing so you can uh, easily find any information you want on the server that way you can jump onto facebook ask us any question you want you can put it in the comments below or you can jump on the ps4 community page and put anything you want up there that way if it's good if it's done on the ps4 community or facebook you're getting other people's feedback not just me i'm you know what I mean, I could be biased about but other people would be truthful, you know what I mean? Um I think that's it then. That covers everything. So this is respawn dash PVE dash UK. And uh 
hopefully we'll uh, see you soon. If there is anything I think of, I will put it in the comments uh, below. But uh, apart from that, I think that's about it. Right, I'm Vengeance. Catch us all later. Thanks for your time. Bye.